All right, welcome to the Organic Modeling Precision Sculpting with T-Splines for Rhino webinar. Uh, I'm Ronnie Parsons. Uh, here with me today is uh, Gil Akos, uh, and we are Mode Collective, uh, aka Mode Lab. So today we're going to be talking about um, T-Splines. And T-Splines gives Rhino users a way of exploring shapes easily and quickly in an intuitive way, closing the gap between design ideation and actual 3D model production. A little bit about this online course. Um, we'll be talking about the principles and rationale behind T-Splines, providing uh, students or uh, participants this afternoon with the resources to model shapes of any complexity as a single smooth watertight surface. Additionally, this intensive course will introduce techniques for working with polygonal and box modeling, direct surface editing, and local definition, definition tools interchangeably. So Gil and I are the founding partners of ModeLab, a collective learning platform that is, um, whose vision is to really empower creatives through education and experiences in design and technology. Um, we believe that through um, this type of a, a framework, um, the collective learning platform, um, we can begin to understand learning as a social process. And therefore, uh, collective insight and understanding can kind of come together and lead to intellectual synergy. The collective really are the people uh, and the various events um, that make up ModeLab. We have a course catalog um, that I'm sure you're all familiar with at this point uh, that brings together resources um, for creatives um, having to do with uh, design and technology learning content. Uh, the formats that we have um, are pretty extensive. Uh, we work with courses, workshops, classes, um, and we'll be also implementing a few other uh, new formats in the future. Um, but the idea is that whenever we are able to remove the obstacles of scheduling, technical proficiency, and physical location, um, what we have left is really this kind of accessible platform open to creatives and the curious. So this afternoon, we'll be talking about and digging into T-splines, uh, specifically T-splines and how it relates to precision sculpting uh, for organic modeled output. Um, so we'll be covering this afternoon uh, an introduction to T-splines uh, for Rhino 5, uh, creating and manipulating T-splines geometry, coupling freeform and precision modeling techniques, and workflows for moving between T-splines and Rhino geometry. But before we get started, um, we want to just do a quick little sound check. If you could just in the question window, if you could just comment whether or not you're able to uh, to hear. I'm assuming if you can't hear, you probably wouldn't be responding. But uh, <laughs> you just type something in there, that'll give us a nice, uh, good, thanks, sound check real quick. Now, the course will last two and a half hours. We'll have Q&A sessions uh, following each exercise. And the broadcast will be recorded um, and published for your viewing pleasure online after this weekend. Now, there are two of us here. Um, that's how we like to do all of our online courses, uh, one of us presenting and the other fielding questions and answering questions on the fly. Um, and our goal is really to be able to provide a live experience for you. Um, as, you know, as we move into web-based uh, you know, learning content, it's an interest of ours to figure out how to be able to make that experience as robust uh, and meaningful and exciting for you. Uh, joining us this afternoon. So thank you all for being here. Um, we're really looking forward to sharing this amazing tool with you. Um, so let's get started. So T-Splines. Um, T-Splines is a product by Autodesk and it works on a few different platforms, um, applications. Um, the one that we're going to be looking at this afternoon is Rhino version 5. T-Splines is a powerful technology for creating surfaces and CAD software that are compatible with traditional NURBS technology. And Rhino is a 3D freeform uh, software that can create, edit, analyze, and translate NURBS curves, surfaces, and solids to create designs for manufacturing. Now, 
I'm sure you have all done this already, but just in case, um, the installation for T-splines, you can get the most recent version at this web address here. Now you'll have to enter your name and uh, some contact information and submit this. It'll be a fully functional 25 save trial version of Autodesk T-splines for Rhino. Um, after that, you know, uh, to continue working with it, you'd need to go ahead and purchase a copy of the plugin. And once that's installed, you'll see that you'll have in Rhino an additional T-splines menu. Uh, that will you know, be in the menu bar next to all the other uh, menus that you have in Rhino. Now with that, in Rhino, you'll also have uh, some additional options that are going to be designated in the Rhino options uh, editor. <clears throat> And all that stuff is pretty standard, but one of the things that you're going to really want to make sure that you can do um, is install the T-Splines toolbar. So let's just take a look in Rhino really quick and see how, the, how that takes place. Now in this um, view here, the screen grab that um, we took, you can see that there's a couple of steps. The first one is that from the tools toolbar layout options, we need to open up the T-Splines toolbar. Now, one thing to keep note of is that the T-Splines toolbar, like all the other Rhino user interface objects, um, are .rui extensions. Uh, you'll see it's an RUI file. So I'm just going to walk over here to Rhino. And so mine looks like yours. Right? We'll go right here to a, a new file. Now here's the tool T-Splines uh, menu bar right here at the top, and if I bounce over here to tools, you'll see I have toolbar layout. Now depending upon what you know plugins you have installed, you know you'll have some different things in here. Um, I have T-Splines uh, already open, but if you don't have that, you can go to File Open, and you'll see that T-Splines after it's been installed will have a Rhino user interface um, file located here in the roaming folder for Rhino 5. Selecting that, you can just hit open, and you'll have this right here. Now, um, I'm going to hit OK, and what happens is you'll have this T-Splines um, toolbar that opens. Now, I'm, I'm a big fan of these dockable um, toolbars, so I just drag this guy right up here, and this is going to live in my Rhino um, tab toolbars now. So it's just kind of a way to kind of keep things nice and tidy. Now, if you have any problems doing that or you have a question about how to make that happen, you know, please post the question to uh, the question window, and Gil will be quick on his feet to assist you. Now the T-Splines toolbar has a couple of um, pullouts. The first one, create, the second, modify, and the third, utility. And what I like about the toolbar and the way that it's structured is that it really mirrors the uh, way in which you would use T-Splines. You know, you would first create some geometry, then you'd almost always uh, begin to modify that geometry through either showing it as a smooth, uh, geometry, extruding faces, um, there's symmetry and bridging, you can crease, you can uh, subdivide faces or delete faces, a lot of really amazing modify tools um, that really get you up and running very quickly. And the last is utility, um, so you know, once you have a model and you've defined some uh, geometry, uh, a lot of times you have to go back through and, and you know, maybe flip its orientation or you might have to do some other things that we'll look at. Now, the one that I skipped over is edit mode, and we'll talk about that, um, uh, you know, the, for the, during the, the course this afternoon, but the basic premise is, is that once you've created a T-splines object, um, you typically need to start editing it um, to be able to manipulate it in some, in some way. 